Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this message is being sent out to your community from God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, the only reason why I'm being sent with this message to you is because of my heart. Um, and once you hear the message and interpret the dream, um, you will have a better understanding. Please be advised that I don't have a full understanding of what I'm being asked to do. Um, but let's start. So he sent me to six, um, Isaiah 62, one through six. And this is in response to um, Psalm 61. He said that is a cry. Um, he's responding to, to your community. Um, and so Psalm, Isaiah 62, for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth and the gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by my by a new name which the mouth of the lord shall name thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hands of the lord and a royal diadem in the hands of thy God. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate, but thou shalt be called Hephziba, and thy land Beulah, for the Lord delighteth in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. So that's what he said. Um, and then I had this dream on 514.22. And here's the dream. It was a daytime dream. It was a beautiful and sunny day. The first thing I saw was an empty room with a pallet of carefully packaged, beautiful watermelons. I kept walking. The next thing I remember, I was going into a very fancy cafeteria and I was on a line. I was at the end of the line. The line was like a maze. There was only one other person in that line. And she was maybe of Indian descent. She was ordering pizza. She kept requesting for the pizza to be all natural. Now, I love pizza. But for some reason, I knew I wasn't allowed to order the pizza. So I looked around where I was at. It was a beautiful campus, like a university. I felt like I was a student, but I was also teaching, teaching a class. At one point, I was walking again past, passing a corridor, and I saw a woman unpacking another pallet of carefully wrapped watermelon, ripe watermelons. I asked her, did she need help? And she said, no, it's unnecessary. Then I arrived at a different location of the campus like the dorms. So I walked towards my quarters and I saw a nice room with a refrigerator. I looked out the window and I saw beautiful lush green grass. 
I felt uncomfortable, like I didn't belong there. Then I heard a car arrive. I looked out the window and I, and I saw a dark gray charger with seriously heavy black tints. It gave me a creepy feeling to whom was inside, but I went outside anyway to see the campus. When the little crowd came out of the car, they paid no mind to me. I saw this white neighbor I had who lived with me at 630 Victory Boulevard. This neighbor was always rude. Made, he always made me feel like I didn't belong in that building. Him and his friends were quite rude to me. I definitely had the feeling of being a minority and my only friend was the pizza girl. I woke up. That was the end of the dream. So the clues he he wants me to put out is 630 Victory Boulevard, um, parentheses interpreter. Then to complete the message, he gives us verses from the book of Jeremiah 29, verses 14 and 15, verses 22 through 24, verses 31 and 32 all from Jeremiah 29. Then he completes it stating, Israel, sh Israel shall stay with their message. You must interpret the dream so I can release the first prophetic word to this nation. You shall release only the part of the message that pertains to the Gentiles. You shall publish it and name it, O Israel, response, Right, O oh, Israel response. And then provide, and for me to know that it's you, to provide me a ver verse in the Bible identifying the house of where this message originated from. This message is going to be released to you by someone in your community um, without naming that person's name. Um, a verse is supposed to be submitted to identify that it's coming out of your community. So this is really quite interesting. May God be with all of you. And thank you so much for listening to my words or my father's words. Um, have a good day.